to people from these different organizations, and again, very briefly, I'm afraid, because we have only an hour and we have a lot to go through, to just say something about the challenges, the successes, the problems, uh, the gains that come from creating a network within a faith tradition. Uh, we have, I think, just one example, with Fletcher Harper of the multi-faith one, but setting up programs that link within a tradition and that draw that tradition further on than would otherwise be the case if they were left on their own. So to start this, it gives me great pleasure to ask Ravneet Singh, who is the, I don't know what you are, what are you? Ravneet? That's a big existential question, mate, but he's the something or other very significant in eco I thought you were the one. Ravneet, well, it's a great pleasure. Over to you. And you have four minutes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> By that time, you will push me. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Martin. Um, he has asked me to share how we sow, how we plow the fields, the seed we sown five years ago, and how we are reaping the fruits and the fragrance of the flowers that we have now in EcoSIC. EcoSIC is a global sick response to the climate change issues, which started the call of United Nations in 2009 in partnership with the Alliance of Religions and Conservation. And we had a huge launch in New Delhi, the capital of India, where we had the honor to host all the major Sikh religious and political leaders, the temple authorities, the major temples, and the journalists as well. And along with that, we had um, Deputy Secretary General of UNDP and key members of Alliance of Religions. We were the uh, first five to submit our five-year plans at the Windsor Castle, as he already shared. And later with the three staff, we sold our first seed as Sikh Environment Day. The day we chose in March 14 as one particular day which will attract the Sikh community to act as per the inspirations of the Sikh guides and uh, religious teachings. We needed the masses, uh, we need the bridge between the Sikh masses and the government organizations. We had a good cookie cutter approach which produced you know, which produced similar outcomes from all over the world, the Gurdwaras and Sikh community we approached. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll, I'm, I'm probably sharing that. We started with 200 organizations, and this year we had 2,200 organizations celebrating this day in 18 nations worldwide. And later we, we have a sacred city all founded by Guru Ram Das, your fourth guru. We um, 100,000 pilgrims visit this city every day. They eat, they drink, they use the, the transport, and they, you know, they have a huge impact on the environmental degradation of the city. So we chose that point, this, the most sacred city of the Sikh community, with a six-point agenda, so that we can open eyes of the Sikh community and help all the hoteliers, the gurdwaras, the mosques, the churches, that we approach and the municipal corporation we approach to work together to become a green city, a part of Green Pilgrimage Network. And recently we received in 2015, two months ago, we received the major news that the uh, 35 Sikh temples in that city are going to serve organic food free, like we already have free kitchens in the Gurdwara, so we'll be switching to organic food. So believe me, like 250 acres of land will be under organic food, and close to half a million of population will be served organic food every day. Now think about how huge will be the message, how huge will be the voice of this faith, and its people to the government who will say that we want organic shift. And I think it's a win-win situation for our faith, for the Mother Earth, and for the future generations as well. The third thing, <laughs> Green Gurdwara Guide, we are gonna launch very soon and we are aiming for 50,000 Sikh Gurdwaras worldwide, aiming them 
to make them green certified and to reduce the global sick and sick carbon footprint. And I'm also hoping to touch 30 million of sick population so that they can change their lifestyles to more green lifestyles. We also conduct about uh, farmers and youth uh, workshops and so far 30 workshops have been you know, conducted in North America, India and UK. Okay. I'm waiting for you to finish. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and just to end, because it's so close now, making it so uncomfortable. It's just an example how huge the voice of the faith can be, and how religions can play such a huge role in shaping the government policies, and how this package of ecosystem can alliance of all the religions can change the earth and save our future. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. <laughs>